Greetings, everybody. This is Winnie Riggle, and welcome back to Direwolf 20's 1.16 Mod Pack. Today, we're in episode 22. And this was not the agenda I had planned for this episode because I got distracted. Don't worry about the plans I actually had for this episode. We'll definitely get to it in a future episode. But today, we're going to take a look at Cyclic. So here's what happened. I took a look at my armor and it's in terrible shape. And I thought, surely Direwolf would have included something in this pack that you could repair armor with using energy instead of materials. Of course he did. And it's actually a part of the Cyclic mod. It's called a Powered Diamond Anvil and it repairs tools with energy. Its recipe seems simple enough. Diamonds, redstone, iron, and then this mysterious thing called crystallized obsidian. Turns out we're going to need to make something called a solidification chamber, put liquid slime in it, and then use obsidian and crystallized amber with chorus fruit. To get crystallized amber, we also need a solidification chamber. This time with the magma, fire charges, blocks of redstone, and gold. So yeah, that's a little bit of a rabbit hole, but you know, modded Minecraft. But the more I looked at the cyclic mod, the more fascinated I became. I already used quite a few of the blocks. We used the block placer in our industrial foregoing setup. I've certainly used the redstone clock and the redstone wireless transmitters. The other thing I discovered was that cyclic actually has a guidebook. Guidebook's pretty easy to craft. It's a book and something called Mason Cobblestone. That's just gravel and cobblestone. The book covers all of the very cool things you can make with Cyclic. Some of my favorites are their charms, including their antidote, fire, void, and wither charm. And it turns out if you would like to have the power of all four of these charms together, you can make a charm talisman which also requires crystallized obsidian. So we're going to do some complex crafting with Cyclic. So here's everything we need to get started. We'll have to go into the storage system for more of the ingredients to actually do creating. But I've gone ahead and created both solidification chambers and melting chambers. Their recipes are very easy. Redstone, nether quartz, furnace, obsidian, and glass for the melting chamber. And very similar, only replacing the redstone with lappy for the solidification chamber. So let's take all of our goodies. And someday I'll make a special room for this. But right now, let's just set these up here. So in order to make the crystallized obsidian, we know we need to start with the crystallized amber. So let's start there. We need a solidification chamber and we need to provide it with magma. To get that magma, we need a melting chamber to melt magma blocks. So we're just going to do this right here. We're going to set down a melting chamber and we're going to set down the solidification chamber that the stuff that the melting chamber is producing needs to go into. Then, of course, we have to give both things power. I've already created a dimensional cell and hooked it up to our network. I'm just going to use very simple power cables to hook these two things up. So now both our melting chamber and our solidification chamber should be getting power as soon as I set the sides to out. There we go. Now they both have power. Yay. So we want to start with a melting chamber and we want to put magma blocks in it and it'll consume those and produce magma. So we've already got three, four buckets, which is great. Now we just want to move that magma to this other block. I'm going to use the cyclic fluid cable to do that along with our cable wrench to pull it out of the melting chamber and into the solidification chamber. So now we have magma. So if we want to make crystallized amber, we just need to put fire charges, redstone, and gold. Fire charges, redstone, and I forgot my gold. Give me the gold. Nice, crystallized amber. So we'll make as many as I think we get one for each fire charge. So I had 16 fire charges. We should get 16 crystallized amber. While those are cooking up, let's set up the next round of this processing. So we need another melting chamber and another solidification chamber to make our crystallized obsidian. So I'm just going to stack them on top. Run power to them. There's power. There's power. Now we want to melt slime. Remind me later in the episode to show you the updates to the mob farm that give us never ending slime. 
And now we have liquid slime in our melting chamber. And we just need to put it over in this other solidification chamber. Once again, we're going to use... Oh, we don't. Can we not do that with a thing? I'd like y'all to... Nope. There you go. No, I don't want you in there. And then we just use our cyclic wand to pull the slime into our solidification chamber. To make our crystallized obsidian, we need obsidian, crystallized amber, and chorus fruit. So let's grab our crystallized amber. We'll put obsidian, crystallized amber, chorus fruit. And now we have crystallized obsidian. <laughs> Fantastic. Now we can make our anvil that repairs things with power. Powered diamond anvil. Coming right up. There it is. And I'm going to set it right here on top of this uh, dimensional cell so that it gets power. Let's test it out on our helmet. Always on. There we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's fast, too. That's amazing. Ha! Fully repaired helmet. No materials needed. Yes, please. Fix my chest plate. Ta-da! Pants. Yep. Boots. Sweet. An entirely complete, amazing, repaired set of armor for just power. Thank you, Lothraiser or Lothrazar. I don't know how to pronounce it. The creator of the cyclic mod, as well as others like Absent by Design. You're a genius. I love it. Okay, we could probably put this in a smarter place, like right in front of our crafting area. I can still get to... In fact, do you turn sideways? Can we go that way? Yeah. I can still get to a crafting table and it still has power so we can repair things. Oh, do you work with our other tools? Oh... Does it work with the Tetra tools? Are you kidding me? It works with the Tetra tools. Oh my God. How great is that? Look, you just throw your tools in there and they repair themselves. Oh, that's magical. No more materials. Hey, so setting up our power reactor in the last episode was super important now we have all the power we need to repair our stuff okay also i really i don't like the way this helmet covers my nose that's better <laughs> okay i will definitely find a better place for this setup i'm sure we can find a little bit of room up in our base somewhere for a cyclic cubby hole now that we've explored some of the crafting mechanisms for cyclic, I want to get into the charms and make us a charm that makes us fireproof and witherproof and void proof forever. Okay, now that we have a couple of crystallized amber and obsidian, let's take a look at those charms from cyclic. So there's the void charm, the antidote charm, the fire charm, and the wither charm. And if we put them together with some concrete and a crystallized obsidian, we can just wear the charm talisman that covers all of them. So let's start with a void charm. That's two crystallized amber, some nether wart, and some endstone. Woohoo! We had everything for that. Antidote charm, same thing, but with spider's eyes and iron. Very cool. A fire charm, blaze rods. A few more crystallized amber, which I'll have to get out of here. Yes, okay. And I believe these all have durability as well. So I'm guessing the Charms Talisman also has durability. Oh, the Wither one. We need Wither Roses. Are there options for Wither Roses in here? No. So a Wither Rose occurs when a Wither strikes an entity. I mean, we have Botany Pots. I just need one Wither Rose. This is totally a thing we should do. I'll be right back. Let me get some stuff together. Now we're out just looking for innocent mobs that would like to participate in our weather experiment project. Hello, Mr. Pig. You're one. Hello, cow. Would you like to participate in our experiment? Thank you. Also, I see an unsuspecting chicken around the corner. Come here, chicken. <laughs> okay, we have a pig, 
a cow and a chicken. We have some dirt and grass. I have wither skeleton skull and four soul sand. We had four skulls in our mob farm inventory. Let me go find a place way down underground where it's safe to spawn a wither. Also, where's my base? Aha! I found it. I found it. No panic. I'm not actually directionally challenged in Minecraft. It just I just appears that way. Okay, so here's the plan. And to be frank, I'm not sure it's going to work. We are going to spawn the wither a little bit down this hallway. And then I'm going to have him chase me into here where the animals are. And hopefully kill one of the animals and create a wither rose. One wither rose. That's it. That's all I'm asking. One this is going to be a total disaster. I can already tell. One, two, three. Oh, God. Hi! <laughs> we just want to be far enough away so that his explosion doesn't damage us. There we go. Hi! Would you like to follow me, please? Hello? I don't want you to actually die before we get here. Hello. There you go. You're like the weakest wither ever. Come on, buddy. If I kill you with my pickaxe, I'll be sorely disappointed. Can you not see me? Hi. Hi. Could you come this way, please? I know, right? That's it. I'm gonna, yeah. Uh huh. Keep coming. Hello. Ow. You're like the lamest wither ever. Could you come here, please? Hello. Oh, yeah. That's it. Hi. There's one. <laughs> Almost. Oh. Can you really? Woo! There's a cow right here just for you. Ah oh, ha! Weather Rose! Yes! Good job! Good job, buddy! Yes! You're my hero! Where'd you go? Ooh, hello. Okay, now you have to die. Because you leave a mark. Oh, that, that definitely left a mark. Okay. We're coming. Probably should get some backup armor. Hi. Nope. I just need my stuff. Please. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Give me all the things. Got three wither roses. <laughs> Okay, I'll be right with you, Mr. Wither. I'm just uh, having some inventory issues. I hear you. Hello? Bueller? Oh, yeah. Ooh. Are you still here? Oh, hi! <laughs> Okay. Oh, our health is bad. Die, Wither, die! Come on! Yeah! <laughs> oh, it's a little close. Not the most graceful of wither battles, but uh, I did get five wither roses. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. I might need a nap after this. Whew. I'll meet y'all back at base. Phew. Okay. Inventory is sorted out and now we have another star and five wither roses. Yeah. 
I will definitely put one of the wither roses up in a botany pot. But now I want to finish crafting our charm talisman. Four gray concrete, which I've already crafted. One of the crystallized obsidians and the four antidote charms. So we just need to make the wither charm. Ta-da! And now we should be able to make the charm talisman. Poison, wither, fire, and void protection. And now that we have this, the next wither fight ought to go much better. I think we can just put this in a curio slot, maybe a ring slot. Yeah, right in a ring slot. And we'll see if it has durability before we need to worry about its durability. I'm not really sure. Not bad for a completely unplanned derailing episode. We got to take a look at some of the crafting mechanisms for cyclic. Made some really amazing things like the electric anvil or the energy powered anvil for repairing our tools from cyclic, as well as the charm talisman, which protects us from fire, wither, poison, and falling into the void. That's very cool. And with that, I think that's all we have time for today, folks. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, leave a like. If you'd like to keep up with what's going on on the channel, don't hesitate to subscribe. And remember, as always, you are the shiny stuff that awesome is made of. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>